Hello guys and welcome to what is, oh shut up, um, to what is another episode of FIFA on Games of Beast and this is FIFA 21 and I have managed to reach the EFL, the English Football League trophy final here at Wembley. And as you can see there, there's our route to the final. We managed to beat Gillingham 4-1 in the quarters. And then we beat uh, Charlton 2-0 in the semi-finals. Basically, throughout this uh, trophy, I have been putting out my second team. Mm. And, uh, yeah, strangely enough, they've managed to get through to the final. But I am, for this game putting out my first, mostly my first team, apart from I just put the goalkeeper on, taking Ashley Williams out for another centre back, and we've got Drew, who's come in, another young player for uh, Forum, and um, Jack Diamond, who is on loan from Sunderland. Um, I think in real life he probably wouldn't be able to play this game just because he may have played for Sunderland um, in this competition already. <clears throat> but he is in the starting lineup, Jack Diamond, um, instead of Lafferty. So basically, I've. Um, it's not completely the first 11 I would choose, but. Um, yeah, not completely the first 11 I'd choose, but it's to keep the side young like they have been throughout this competition. Yeah, so he's got the ball away from him. Here's Llewellyn now. Trying to get it through to Jack Diamond, and he does. Jack Diamond using his pace. He's trying to get away from the defender. Gets his shot away, hits the post. First real chance of the game, and a penalty's been given. Hansen goes down from the challenge from Tafferoli, the captain. He's taken him down there, Hansen, as Hansen's got in front of him. And it's an early penalty in the final. 11 minutes, and it's George Alexander. It's usually Lafferty that takes the penalties for Bolton, but he's not playing today. It's George Alexander! Yeah! <laughs> And it's an opening goal for Bolton. And a funny celebration to go with it. But Bolton have taken the lead here at Wembley. A dream start for Bolton. Now uh, George Alexander gets that one in. The ball's floated forward and it's George Alexander using his pace. It's still Alexander. Puts the ball back to East. Oh, and he hits the left stanchion there. Not sure why he's showing. Oh, Hansen. For his earlier foul. He's been given a yellow card. Gives it back to Selman. Selman over the top to Hansen. He, of course, has gained a yellow card. But here's Hansen now. Oh, it gets past his marker of ease. The ball's in. Drew gets his shot away. But a good save by the keeper. Baitlet couldn't get his shot away. Here's Ender now. Milkovic puts it through to McGuinness. Oh, Salmon with the tackle. Hint of handball, but the shot's away. Porter with the save. First shot on goal for Hull City in the first 36 minutes. A strong challenge though as Hull's got it back. It's McGuinness. Goal! Second shot for Hull. Gets them a goal. And it's an equaliser in the final for Hull City. Um. Drew just gave the ball away and McGuinness slotted home after there was no real 
defensive lines left for Bolton. And a goal it is. 1-1. One, one. They succeed. Salmon's like way out of position now. As the ball's put through. McGuinness again. Honeyman! Brilliant save by Porter. Still Drew now. Gives it to Llewellyn. Llewellyn can use his pace. Use his power. Gets past Marcus with ease! And what a goal! Llewellyn to put Bolton in the lead just before half time. And the Bolton fans who were at that end see the goal, ball fly into the back of the net. Jumps a challenge and literally takes the shot as he lands. And he's happy with that one. Bolton back in the lead. This is great stuff and it's... Yeah, it blows the whistle for half time. And Bolton... Take a half time lead here at Wembley. An eventful game. Where Bolton have had the most part, but Hull City just had about a five minute spell between 35 and 40 minutes where they got their goal. And finally, Bolton get the ball out. Oh, and a bad challenge there from the Hull player, Cole or Coyle. And he's been given a yellow card. That's two um, yellow cards that Hull City have now, I think. And Bolton play it short. Here's Alexander. Gives it to Llewellyn. Jack Diamond. Is he onside? I think he is. Jack Diamond. Oof. And uh, good save by the keeper. The ball's played outside the box. Jack Diamond goes for the shot. There's another shot. Oh, it's deflected. The keeper parries. And it's a goal. Oh, but it's ruled offside, is it? Yeah. It's ruled offside. Just watch it here. Oh, he's a leg width offside. Uh, George Alexander. And, uh, yeah, whole city get the free kick. So no goal for Hull City. The tall striker. He's going to get his head on this one. For the keep. Tom Eves. Oh, bad challenge by Salman. I think he misjudged that one. And it's going to be a free kick in a perfect position for Hull City. In these final five minutes. Oh, and that's a woeful free kick because Bolton have got it out. But uh, only as far as a whole City player. It's Tom Eaves. Oh, my. What was that? Hickman to Clayton. Can they finish it off? Bolton. Oh, and the header's woeful by Alexander. Yeah. Trying to get it to East. Doesn't do so, but East... Puts it away and it's full time! And Bolton are Football League Trophy champions here at Wembley. And what a season. You could say a comeback season. This is turning out to be for Bolton. The League Two outfit who are looking to get promotion back to League One have already got silverware here at Wembley. They can't quite believe it themselves. But they've beaten the League One team, Hull City, here at Wembley. Champions aloft is Bolton and the captain today, Baitlett. Never usually captain, it's always Ashley Williams. But they've been left out the team, maybe controversially. It was to give these young players a chance and they've given it 
a chance and they've won here at Wembley fireworks are going mental streamers are aloft the trophies are aloft Bolton Wanderers Football League trophy champions what a first season this has turned out to be for Bilbo East for watching the Football League trophy final between Bolton and Hull City and Bolton come out 2-1 winners that's probably what set it off was the penalty in the first few minutes and then McGinnis getting the equaliser 